Am I the asshole? For telling my co-worker to stop using my personal belongings? So, I have been working at this small software company for about three years now, and I genuinely love my job. I have great co-workers and the work environment is generally positive. However, there is this one co-worker, let's call her Sarah, who has been increasingly crossing boundaries. A bit of background, Sarah joined the company around a year ago, and we were initially friendly. We would have lunch together occasionally and chat about random things. I didn't think much of it, and it seemed like a normal office friendship. However, over time, I noticed that Sarah had started to use my belongings without asking for permission. For example, she would take my stapler, pens, or even my phone charger without asking. At first, I brushed it off as her just being forgetful and not realizing that these were my personal items. I tried to be understanding and not let it bother me. But then, things started to escalate. One day, I brought in a special lunch I had prepared as a treat for myself. It was a dish that my grandmother used to make for me, and it had a lot of sentimental value. I had placed it in the fridge with a note clearly stating it was mine. When lunchtime came around, I discovered that Sarah had taken and eaten my lunch. I confronted her, and she apologized, claiming that she thought it was meant for the whole office to share. I didn't bite, but I let it go to avoid causing a scene. Over the next few months, Sarah's behavior continued to worsen. She began using my personal laptop without asking, even though we all have our own work computers. She would also use my coffee mug and other personal items, despite me having my name on them. I tried to address it politely and asked her to stop, but she would just laugh it off and say she didn't mean any harm. Finally, I reached my breaking point last week. I had bought a new, expensive pair of headphones to use at work, and I had left them on my desk overnight. When I arrived the next day, I found Sarah using them at her desk. I was furious and asked her to hand them over immediately. She tried to play it off as a joke, but I had enough. I told her that it was not funny and that she needed to stop using my personal belongings without permission. I said it was disrespectful and a violation of my privacy. The rest of the office heard the commotion and some of my co-workers agreed with me, while others said I was overreacting and should let it go. Sarah hasn't spoken to me since, and the atmosphere has become tense. A few co-workers have even suggested that I owe Sarah an apology for embarrassing her in front of everyone. So, am I the asshole? For telling my co-worker to stop using my personal belongings? Not the asshole. You asked her multiple times to stop using your stuff and were perfectly civil when she literally ate your lunch and tried to pretend that she thought it was for the whole office funny how it was clearly single serve and she ate it all herself. But she kept essentially stealing from you. If she didn't want to be embarrassed by a scene maybe she should have listened to your multiple requests to stop using your stuff before you escalated to causing a scene. This didn't happen in a vacuum, and she knows it. Not the asshole. The headphones lunch were yours and not hers. While I would argue using a stapler isn't harmful, it just adds to everything else. What is most irritating about her seems to be she tries to just laugh it off and carry on like she hasn't done anything wrong. Don't apologize, wait for her to do that. Not the asshole but you need to go to HR. Not the asshole and you should also escalate it to your manager to let them know it happened and see if they think it should be escalated further. Someone who can't be trusted to accept personal boundaries, and doesn't take their co-workers seriously, is a liability. Not the asshole I would have exploded over the dish stealing. How can you even think about doing that? Whatever, put your foot down. And to any colleague saying you should let it go, tell them you'll let Sarah know they're okay for her to borrow what she wants from them. See how they like it. Not the asshole. Speak to your manager and or HR. The stapler and even the charger are kinda reasonable but the lunch, your personal laptop and your headphones is completely out of order. Info does she only do it to your stuff or does she do it to your other colleagues as well? Not the asshole your stuff is your stuff. 
go to HR. Document all this. Not the asshole, when we are children most of us were taught to keep your hands to yourself and not to touch other people's things. This is an HR issue because she will escalate it. I had someone in my office taking my friend's things until I caught him and he thought it was a joke. He found out no one was playing with him. Do not be guilted by the complicit, some people need to learn the hard way. Not the asshole if I were you I would not apologize this tense atmosphere is better than her taking your stuff. She owes you an apology not the other way around. Info how does someone use your laptop for anything besides, maybe, propping up a desk? OP is a professional software developer and doesn't have a password on it. Not the asshole. Sarah can fuck right off. Nata, she is harassing you. Next time, and every time thereafter record yourself confronting her. If she keeps it up threaten legal action. I think the issue here is that you let it go so long and then you finally blew up. I think you should have nipped it in the bud a long time ago. She obviously has some issues where she enjoys crossing boundaries into other people's space. If she's not talking to you, then you should consider yourself lucky. Maybe that'll put an end to things. But I would definitely make a list of all the things that she has taken of yours over the past few months, and submit a formal complaint to HR. I think that's the only way to deal with it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She brought this on herself. Now she can reap the rewards. Not the asshole, but I think there is a very good chance that while you were writing this post, Sarah was at home reading sewing books trying to figure out how to turn you into a lady suit. She wants to be you. Not the asshole but please talk to HR. Not the asshole. She tried to play it off as a joke, but I had enough. Next time she says that say jokes are supposed to be funny, I don't understand the joke. Can you explain how you taking my stuff is a joke? Not the asshole the people saying you need to apologize you should tell them okay then Sarah is welcome to use your personal belongings and eat your food without asking right? Not the asshole she needs to keep her grubby paws off your stuff. If someone ate my food I would have screamed in their face tbh. Not the asshole. The only thing you've done wrong was to not say something immediately. HR should have e been notified as soon as your lunch was stolen, it shouldn't ha e been the first time you said something. People get fired over stealing food where I work. Putting this off led to your blow up, which is entirely your fault. Not the asshole she thought the lunch was for the whole office but ate it entirely herself. She's fucking with you and has been fucking with you because she can get away with it. She knows what she's doing. Not the asshole Sarah knows what she's doing. Go straight to HR before she does. No touchy the precious. They stole it from us. Sneaky little co-workers is wicked, tricksy, false. Edited for forgot the not the asshole. Not the asshole, and you had every right to escalate your annoyance since Sarah just refuses to listen when you ask politely. Not the asshole. Report her to HR. Leave your personal items in locked drawers and get an insulated lunchbox so you don't have to put things in the refrigerator. This woman is awful. Is Sarah a single, white female? Not the asshole. Go to HR. Mention all this. Not the asshole need to go HR or supervisor. Not the asshole go to HR or else she is going to spin up some BS to make herself the victim. Not the asshole. She's out of line and she knows it. It's a power thing. She's invading your space as a power move. She's a trash person. It's time for your boss to sort this out. That's what they get paid for. Not the asshole's error is clever. She bullies you but has people siding with her. It's time to play mind games. Winking face, please update us with whatever sneaky concoction you zap her with. I would start with a refreshing bowl of super duper hot chili in the fridge. Maybe move on to chewing gum under the stapler handle. Not the asshole. X200B. Document everything, and make a report with HR. 
Let me get this straight you left your personal laptop with no password protection at your workplace. My five-year-old computer made me use a password. I'm having a really difficult time wrapping my brain around this part of your story. Not the asshole. Tell your manager or HR what's going in, recount all the incidents and your interactions with her specific to the items, how you have asked her to stop, etc. Stick to the facts. That way it's documented and usually if it then continues or escalates, HR has something to work with in terms of warnings, monitoring, etc. Plus it's a way to see you. Some people have an amazing ability to manipulate things so it looks like they are the victim. Never apologize to a bully. She was absolutely trying to bully you and using her twisted version of decorum to control the narrative. If she is embarrassed, it is because she behaved in an embarrassing manner, not because you spoke up. Not the asshole. She knows what she's doing and she's lying to try to make you leave her alone. The lunch thing really made that clear to me. If she thought, somehow, it was for the whole office to share, then why did she eat all of it herself? That was such a blatant lie. From that one incident, I feel like you can comfortably assure yourself that she knows full well what she's doing, and she's just confident that she can get away with it by making you question your own judgment. Don't let her get away with it. Not the asshole. Report her to HR and if your desks have locks on them you should lock your belongings in your desk while you're away. I started keeping a cold block in my lunch bag so that my lunch stays reasonably cold until lunchtime without me having to put it in the office fridge. With or without to say in the office I just don't like the idea of someone just taking something from my office without my permission. We better get an update, I'm dying to know what happens next. Also, not the asshole. 